So we are getting there. We are now on to John's last selection. Two in a row from John. Uh, the whiskies he's brought along tonight. Now, I know what it is. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I have had it before, but a long time ago. Can't quite remember the taste sensations. So I'll let John bring it onto the table and talk you through a little okay. bit of. Our big perpetual. Um, so, uh, yeah, 200th anniversary bottling from our big um, 2015 uh, our big day bottling uh, for Fez. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm only about two thirds of the way through that one, so we're, you know, I've bucked the trend, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's looking good. But anyway, so, yeah, so 200th anniversary bottling, Dr. Bill Lumsden, um, chosen selected uh, casts, I believe, bourbon, a uh, mix of bourbon and sherry cast for this particular release um, and yeah it's uh, here's the next 200 years which um, is uh, I, I hope I see that <laughs> I hope we both see that I'll toast, um, I'll toast it. a never ending rich and enticing combination of classic Arbegian notes and completely creamy and, and completely incredible creamy flavours um, so we shall see uh, so at 47.4% uh, ABV, it's um, a, an our big classic, uh, is, is so far as I'm concerned, but um, we shall taste it um, and pour it out. Are you an Ardbegian? Um, I'd say after being there and visiting it and... and um, living there? Yeah, living there for a couple of nights. Uh, yeah, I would say I would be an Ardbegian. I'll, I'll take that. Um, yeah. See... Uh, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I'll say it as often as I can. Ardbeg is my favourite distillery to visit in Scotland. Beautiful distillery, beautiful location, beautiful whisky, outstanding welcome. People who know what they're doing, know what they're talking about, and they'll give you all day if they have to. Um, that just takes me back to the Ardbeg tasting room. And while every distillery has multiple expressions and they're all different, there's still the core thread that runs through. And at Ardbeg, um, it, it really is. It, it's basically, maybe not officially, but in my opinion, certainly has stolen the crown from Laphroaig as the, the real sort of naughty teenager of Isla Whiskies. It's brash, bold, in your face. When you have one of these, it's like, what's that? And that's what the Freud maybe used to be, maybe still is, but Ardbeg, two or three miles along the coast, is something else. It really is. It is. It is indeed. Uh, and I, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, it, it's, it, well, at the time, it was a, a much anticipated um, release from Ardbeg um, at the time. Uh, it wasn't well received, uh, fair and saying. Um, What's the age statement? It, there is no age statement on it. Exactly. So in those days, the age statement hangover was still existed. Oh, how old is it? Oh, well, it's not got an age statement. Oh, well, it's not good enough. So I think Ardbeg started or restarted again. It was 2000, 2001. I think it was 2000 that they started up. So their first 10 year old was 2010. So this is 2015, five years after, and they're still building up. But one of our big sort of principles, um, is, it needs trumpeted more, is they concentrated on the quality of their spirit. And if you've got a good starting spirit, then you can go on and make a really good whiskies. And it doesn't matter as much how old it is, because if you've got a good quality spirit to start with, you can then produce good four, five, six, seven year old whiskies. And they started off with, I can't remember the names, so young, still waiting, things like that. Um, really young whiskies building up to their 10 year old. And once they started producing their 10 year old, they then started produce, producing their supernovas, um, their alligator. Their Aura Verdes, they stuck it into space with the Galileo, and then around about 2015, as John says, the, the Perpetuum comes out. So, um, 
stunning distillery and quite memorable whiskies. Mm. Yeah, it's um on the nose it's uh it's fresh and it's sweet and it's clean. It's, it is uh, very clean. It's very crisp. Uh, I smell our bag. It's got it's got notes of our bag. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. <laughs> it really That's has. good. That's good. That's good. It's it, it does come up. It's got high vapors. It's got um. It's not the most rounded or mature, but it's infecting you. Yeah, sort of a, a molasses y sort of. Molasses y? Yeah, molasses, <laughs> molasses y. Molasses y, treacly note. It's, um. There's a certain a treacle. Yeah, uh, when I'm talking about the, the high up above, it's also got a low down below. It's and, and thin, but both coming at you there. Not like that, but like that. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's fabulous. It's it's for me on the nose. It's it, it's well rounded. It's balanced. It's it's got a bit of prickle, um, but forty oh, seven. I like this prickle taste yeah. that you've got. Yeah, it, it's a bit of prickle there, but you're forty seven point seven percent. You're you want to get that, and it's got a, weedy. a very low sort of um, sweet fudge. Yeah, but not too thick in your toffee caramel. It's, it's fudge is a sort of sh Scottish sugary, yep. more than caramel, more than toffee. So it, it's got that. It's got a nice fudge to it. But not not much, not much buttery, peaty smoke about it. There is a bit of smoke there. Definitely, you know you're, I you're smelling it's in it, And I guarantee when we taste it, it will be yeah. peat and smoke. But at the moment, yeah, it's, it's 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 if it's there, it's subtle. Yeah. Right. Right. Down the hatch, come on. Here we go. This is a space aid man. <laughs> <laughs> the more hard bag that people drink, the better things will be, I think. Yeah, so it's, it's, whoa. You certainly know it's an, uh, an Isla, and uh, right off the bat as well, I think you certainly know it's an hard bag. Um, it's uh, it's exactly what it says in the tin. It's fabulous. It's got a lovely, lovely smoky peaty flavour right off the bat. But you've got a certain sweetness, nuttiness coming through as well. Um, it's well balanced, but not much of a, 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 a lasting no, no, no. finish. But it's 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 really nice. It's that clean sharpness. It's not mm -hmm. daggering down. It's not got any real depth of heat but you're right it's fleeting mm -hmm. to, to an extent but it's definitely hard big it's definitely got that mm -hmm. that dirt uh, 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 once again uh, uh, there, is, there is there is um uh, as i was mentioning before sorry this uh, particular release didn't go down that well um You'd be lucky if you pick this one up for what two hundred pounds a bottle now. There about so at the time, which maybe about seventy pounds a bottle uh, when I bought it. Um, and yeah, it, it it's not. I wouldn't say it's probably a two hundred pound bottle of whiskey. Um, I wouldn't say it's probably even a seventy pound bottle of whiskey. I would say probably the uh, an our big Ugadal or or uh, even the ten year old. Yeah. I would say comes up. Quite close to this. Um, I would like to taste this next the ten year old. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, very yeah. ten year old. Yeah. It really is. And and I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's it's special enough to be called a special edition. I don't know. I'm just saying that. I'm out there with it. But um you know, a mix between bourbon and cherry casts. I'd have to taste it next to the ten year old, but it, yeah that, that if you say what's this closest to I'd say the ten year old yeah. a big ten. I mean it's not it's not brilliant. It's absolutely fine. Hey. It, yes. It's absolutely fine. There is no such thing as a bad whiskey, remember? <laughs> it's hard bake. If you like hard bake, mm. you like this. It's, it's bottom line. Mm. Anything else? Are you getting anything else from it? I'm going to put a bit of water in. Mm. I sneak from my glug in. He's a. Uh, his glug's worth. My glug's. There you go. Oh, I'll put it in. Yeah, I think. 
I reckon this will make it much sweeter and smoother than the vanilla. Right, there's no no smoke at all now. Well, it's not so a little fresh. bit. It's like it's it's still, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. an ocean wave breaking over your head. It, yeah, it's it's. Oh, it's lovely. It's kind of almost like that smell after the rain. I know that seems really fucking <laughs> crazy, but that sort of smell what you're gonna get after a rainstorm in summer. You know what I mean? Do you know the word? I don't. Petrichor. There you go. It's blowing my mind. When the rain sort of falls on dry ground, petrichor. There you go. It's got that sort of flavour, that flavour, that, flavor, that, that nose to it. It's, it's, there's a level of sophistication here yeah. that I was going to say we, I'll speak for myself, that I don't, under, <laughs> that I don't understand. Likewise. <laughs> I'm right with you there. Um, the more of a fine nose, we'll get more of this. The, the, with, with, a, with a little bit of water, it's almost like... Um, it's brought out a little bit of saltiness in it as well. And I know, I know our big is... There is that maritime note with any Isla malt. Mm -hmm. You kind of get that saltiness with it. It definitely does. Um, but it does, I'm honestly, it kind of brings it a little bit more out with, with a little bit of water. I know that I often find, especially with water and certain island whiskies, is um, basically, and I've never licked them, I've never chewed them, I've never tasted them, but the ropes that you tie up boats with, mm. there's a bit of that in there. Yeah, I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you that. a bit tarry, a bit plasticky, a bit worn. What does worn taste like exactly? Who knows? But that. <laughs> 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 but yeah. it's it's hard bag through and through. It is indeed. It is indeed. So as as Keith said, if you like hard bag, you're gonna like this. Let's coordinate this. Um, right, one, two, three. Cheers. Our big perpetual. There you go. Good try. Perpetually fine. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, on to the next one. Next up, we are on to our final whiskey of the evening. Now, it's been a long night. We've, uh, we've concentrated hard. It's taken its toll on us, but we're still here and we're still going to dedicate ourselves to your enjoyment with our final whiskey of the evening. It's my choice and uh, it's a whiskey I've never tried before. Have you tried it before, John? No. He doesn't, well, he does know what it is. It's this one here. Uh, it's uh, from, obviously, the island of Isla. It's from Lagavulin, the... Uh, what would you call it there? Just knows what it's doing, Lagavulin. Um, the Lagavulin 16, beautiful whiskey. Lagavulin Distillers Edition, beautiful whiskey. This is a Lagavulin 9 year old. And it has a bit of extra marketing because it's part of the Game of Thrones series. And this one is House Lannister. So if you know your Game of Thrones, you know that the Lannisters always pay their debts. Beautiful colour. Does it mean anything though with Lagavulin because Lagavulin used their caramel colouring. But that doesn't matter because looking at it or whatever we'll put it in our mouths and we'll tell you how it tastes. So you've not tried this one before John. What do you think of Lagavulin in general? Lagavulin in general is fantastic. Um, the, 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 their standard offering being a 16 year old is nothing short of incredible. Um, it is, uh, yeah, it's it's a, a fabulous dram. Um, this being nine years old, no reflection on it. I'm sure it's equally as good. Um, and given, well, I've, I've heard so much about the Game of Thrones uh, limited edition uh, releases. Um, I've heard some really good things about them. So yeah, looking forward to trying it. This is how Slander said you've got Targaryen, Stark, Tully, Tyrell, Tyrell. Baratheon, Greyjoy and the Night's Watch from Cardew Dalwhinnie The Singleton, which is Glenord, Kleinleash Loch, eh, Royal Loch Nagar Talisker and Oban <laughs> or as we call it Oban and now there's nothing on here that tells you about the whiskey, it's all to do with it's all marketing guff 
Good mm. Scottish word for you, guff. <laughs> I remember I do work in marketing, so you're, 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 <laughs> this is what I do. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, well, not the what I do, but anyway. That, that, but there's good, it's like everything. There's good tunes, there's bad tunes. Mm. There's good marketing, there's bad marketing. There's bad driving, there's bad tour guiding. You know, like that, you know? <laughs> this man knows what he's talking about. So, yeah, they're talking about voracious intent. Is be this is the, the Lannister's voracious intent to the Iron Throne is befittingly represented by a clawing lion on the house's banner. Ah, nothing to do with the cast, nothing to do with the age. So, we'll put this down. We'll get rid of that. We'll see what it says in the bottle. Game of Thrones, House Lannister, Lagavul and Isla Single Malt, Scotch Whiskey, nine years old. There's virtually nothing on the bottle to give you any clues. 46%, that's a good sign. But that is really about it, there's nothing else. So, enough procrastinating, prevaricating. Any other words to add to that, thesaurus? Um, Delay, no. Delaying? No, no, no give not it, at all. Okay, just put it in my glass, he says, put it in my glass. So, I got this bottle on offer which was nice and uh, being from Scotland when anything's an offer I didn't waste the opportunity I bought two let's see what this one does have a little sniff of the cork John Last dram of the evening. Oh, it's on the day up. So, uh, make them good ones. <laughs> I was going to say, wow. Why don't we? It's there to be drunk. If you, if you want another one, just say. Thank you very much. Lagavulin, nine years old, House Lannister. Oh. <laughs> good start, man. Yeah, very good start. What's the ABV in this? 46. Mm. 46. Okay. Did you visit Lagavulin on your island? We did, and Lagavulin? it was, um, well, it, it must have been the, the time of year, because well, the, both Diageo um, distilleries at the time, Lagavulin and Kalila, were closed for, for uh, excuse me, closed for refurbishment, um, so we couldn't get in for a tour. But we went into the the uh, visitor centre, and at the time, I think they were on their the just released. I think it was the eight year old, mm -hmm. eight years old, um, which I think was a phase bottling. Uh, Might have been announced. I'm not sure. I couldn't say for sure. Uh, anyway, yeah, the, the, uh, I can't remember really. But we were we were there. Not long after it, I think it was about this time last year, this time last year, this time of year, uh, mid June, uh, we were there. So, um, phase had happened, and uh, we were you know, picking up the scraps of what was left. Um, so we're tasting some good whiskey, but yeah, the, the, this is what a nine year, nine years, so you know, so we'd be far off the eight years. Um, you're assuming it's a eight years plus one, eight year plus, yeah, eight, 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 nine, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. That's why I'm here. <laughs> the so, team would be the eight plus two. <laughs> <laughs> so you're assuming this is had some sort of sherry influence? I don't or? think so. I'm not so sure at all. It's hard to tell because the colour is generally enhanced by like villain. Can't trust the colour. Um, it doesn't say anything, so I, I I suspect this is a straight nine years bourbon Lagavulin. I'm not getting any sherry at all. It's, you're second guessing, but I doubt they're going to release their greatest expression no. on, and it's a bad word, but it's not... On a gimmick, um, it's part of a series. It's uh, it's a marketing um, a series. It just is. Doesn't mean that the whiskey is bad, but it does mean that it's part of the marketing series. So they're not going to say, you know what? That's the greatest thing you've ever made. We'll release it under a um, 
a banner of mixed whiskies from different distilleries. So they're not going to release a bad whisky, but they're not going to release their greatest whisky either. Maybe I'm wrong. No, it, it, it's a, on the nose. It's it's not unpleasant. It's, I love it. It, it's uh it's there there's not much smoky there's not many smoky notes on the nose but you're getting quite a lot of vanilla you're getting there's nothing too overpowering on the nose but you're right vanilla smooth creaminess yep there's definitely a smooth creaminess about it as well yeah in the mouth, there's there's no sweetness there in the mouth it's pure bourbon it's it must be bourbon casks is this a char smoke? It's not a, nowhere, a little bit coming through there, yeah. Nowhere near as rounded as the 16, but it's wow. very nice. It's cool. I it's, think it's bigger than a t it's bigger than a nine year old. I just there's a bit of savoury note coming through there as well, a bit of kind of a oh god, it's just crazy going to crazy gonna take say this, but it kind of like a vegetable y sort of I don't know what you mean, but a cooked face, well, not a raw yeah, face. Yeah, 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 not, not, not in a bad way, but there's sort of almost savoury note about it. Um, I'm getting a barbecued courgette. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a barbecued courgette, but that's what I'm getting on this. Mm. Uh, a nice, healthy, green barbecued vegetable. No vegetables were harmed in the making of this whiskey, by the way. Uh, the, you know, I, I, I get I get where you're coming from. There is that sort of um, smokiness that's coming into the back of that sort of savoury note. Is that, that what I say? Can, can I put a smoked, smoked meat? Um, it's my description of the, the Lagavulin 16 is a, a, a burnt boat on the beach um, with a real sort of smoky ham hock in there somewhere that, that sort of idea oh, it's, it, it's verging on that, that ham smoked ham flavour but it's not it's not it's not punching you in the face this one whereas the 16 year old given the fact it's been in the, the wood for another seven years after this seven years, I think seven years after this if this was a 13 year old I would buy it completely. It's, it's like a mm. Lagavulin 16 year old at 13 years mm. old. Not a massive punch of smoke. I don't know if just the fact that I've been, I've, I've drunk, what, four, uh, eight whiskies tonight, <laughs> all, all with varying levels of smoke. But um, I've drunk four, eight whiskies. Four, eight, wh yeah. I'm thinking I've given four, <laughs> he's given four. How much is that? Uh, have I got enough fingers? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know if my palate's just um, been uh, been affected, but I'm not getting much smoke from it. I'm not getting what that sort of. Well, I'm getting enough. No overpowering. Remember, we just had an hard bag. So once you go there, anything after that, even if it's Isla, is less than mm -hmm. that. Uh, hard bag is a. Uh, mouth scraper of a whiskey. Lagavulin is certainly um, smoke but it's got a lot more mm -hmm. nourishment and caressment to it. Caressment? Love it. Caressization. Is that a term like a game? <laughs> Caressization? No. Anyway, right. Um... Lovely whiskey. I'm not disappointed. I, I was a bit no, a little bit worried. I wouldn't say worried. Yes. Concerns the wrong word. Worried's the wrong word. I was. I, I thought it would be a little bit less than it actually is, mm -hmm. and, and I'm quite happy with that. It's like a good film. It's what you bring to it. You might be disappointed in a good film because you you were expecting good things. Mm -hmm. You may appreciate an average film more because you weren't expecting much. There's an element of that, but this is a this is a nice whiskey. This is a really nice whiskey. A few of the Diageo made this for, um, so obviously it's a collectible whiskey, are they making it for people to collect it or are they making it for people to drink it? Collect. Yeah. But um, that's underlining what I've just said, because if it's purely for collection, they could 
make this tea. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. tea, but it's not tea. It's a very decent lager villain. Mm. Um, it's not just for collection. It, it is for people to put in their mouths, taste, and enjoy. It's, it's, it's a very decent whiskey. It's not the greatest whiskey ever. It's miles from the worst whiskey ever. Oh, no, no, it's totally. a very yeah. decent whiskey. Yeah. Again, before I get too far, let's put a little bit of water in it. Well, you've you've gone too far, haven't you? Right. Just a little bit. Just a little bit too far. There we go. Oh, you're very, very kind. A little bit more. I'll come back. <laughs> You'll be invited back, don't worry. You're here to hear first. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like with water, John? Let's have a wee nose. Okay. So it almost it almost kinda releases the smokiness a little bit. There's a little bit more smoke coming off the nose now. I'm trying to think where you where you where you get the last wisps of smoke on a on a hillside fire. It's, it's got an element of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's it's, it's not. It's, no, no, yeah, 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 right. Oh, wispy smoke. But yeah, it's having the 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 vanilla sweetness that's coming from. Uh, the initial vanilla notes I was getting from the, the whiskey initially, but the sweetness is there. Quite like that. I really do like that. There's no, it's hard to describe because there's no full on fruitiness, there's no full on maltiness, and um, you've got a little. A wisp of smoke. You've got a decent amount of bourbon, and that's not far off all there is. But it's, it's a very nice whiskey. Uh, yeah, and a little bit, a little bit of saltiness coming out the back as well. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a slight citrus note coming out the back as well. Right. I don't know if that's just maybe the bitterness. What kind of citrus? Um, lemon. Lemon. Yeah, a bit of lemon sweetness. Oh, uh, lemon citrus note coming at the back. Um. And yeah, the vanilla is there, maybe kind of virgin into sort of custardy. It's, sort of. it's like Lagavulin with no added sophistication. Yeah, yeah. Lagavulin is yeah. sophisticated enough, so it's just. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. For a, a collectible whiskey mm -hmm. um, that Diageo were hoping that people are going to go crazy for, which they did. Um, and uh, buy and then keep on a shelf and grow various layers of dust. I think it's a cracking whiskey. Yeah, well done. Yes, well done, Lager Bullen. Well done, um, Tarion. <laughs> yeah, the winter is coming. Uh, Cersei and oh, Cersei's brother's name. You're all screaming. Got his hand chopped off. Yon boy. Hands like shovels. Uh, <laughs> you know who I mean. You, you know who I mean. I'll put it on text at the bottom of the screen. Indeed, yeah, that, that, right about there. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed yourself tonight. It's been okay for us. We've done our best and uh, we've tried a few whiskeys. We've talked a little bit about whiskey. We'll have to do this again, John. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so and, much. Uh, we'll do a bit more sort of technical stuff and a bit more experiential stuff. But uh, yes, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and like and subscribe, and we'll see you again at some point. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Slanjava. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. What did you think of that? John, lovely guy. Brought some great whiskies around. Very interesting tasting. We had a few drivers into the very small hours of the morning, and as I said right at the start, I'm hoping to have Big John back at some point. An absolute pleasure. I think he enjoyed himself. Um, so, if you like this video, look out for similar videos. Obviously, I do tasting videos, videos of on tour, and uh, hopefully I'll have a lot more uh, friends around to share a dram with as well. And who knows, one day it might be with you. So, from Whiskey Tour Guy Keith, I bid you adieu. 
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, Slangeva.